So you want the best quality as possible for your recordings in OBS Studio. And I can understand that. Really, I can actually do that. Who don't want a really good quality video, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get it and how to improve your quality of your videos. So let's go to it. So before we go to the tutorial, uh, I want to say something. If you're using OBS Studio, and I think you actually do that because you're watching my video. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is actually improve the quality a bit. And this helps if you have lag problems, FPS problems, stuff like that. This is going to be on Swedish though, so sorry. So what do you do is properties. Go to, I think it compatible. And then you change this to always go for administ admin administrator. And what that does is gonna have an icon, like an admin icon on the OBS. So every time you start OBS, you need to click start as admin. And what that does is helping you with lag, helping you with FPS problems, is helping you with a lot of stuff actually. It's really helping. So I have a problem with that. It can be only that. So you try it, just do it because why not? So you kind of say like OBS have more priority than the game and stuff like that. I think that I actually also do that. So test that. I always done it and then it helped me in the beginning. So just go do it. So go to settings. We're going to do it fast, easy, simple. So when you're in setting, you want to go to output. You want to change the output mode to advanced. Why I'm this is dark for me is because I'm stre <laughs> streaming. I'm recording from the OBS right now. So when you have done that, go to recording. The type should be standard. Recording path, that is where your record is going to be saved. So if you want it in a certain place, save it there. You decide yourself really what you want to do with your videos. So it's up to you. Uh, recording format, I'm using MP4 because it's more simplistic. Uh, I cannot really click on anything. I know some other people use F. I don't remember the name now, just because. But I'm using MP4 because it's easier for me. And probably a lot of people are going to use it. So it's up to you, but I recommend MP4. Audio track, I'm using one. Encoder. Encoder is like the heart of everything. So the encoder, what I'm using is the NVIDIA NVENC. And what that is, it's the NVIDIA GeForce encoder. And that is for the graphics card for GeForce. And if you don't have used that before, start using it. If you have a GeForce experience graphics card, I think it's like 10 gen and above. I think it's something like that. Or, because I have a 1080, so I can use it. So. So it's 10 and above the series. If you don't have that, you need to choose the other example. And that for maybe if you do an AMD or if you really have a bumped up CPU. I don't really have that and I have the locks to actually do this. So I'm using the NVENC instead and it really helps. So try it. Resolution scale, I'm doing 1080. Uh, let's 1920 by 1080. Uh, it's of course up to you. But if you want the best of the best, you take this. Uh, rate control. I actually gonna give you guys two settings you can use. Uh, the first one is the rate control CBR, constant bit rate, and the bit rate should be 16,000. The keyframe interval, seconds, zero, auto, it's two. The preset, I'm using max quality. And this one is also a bit different because you shouldn't just copy my settings. You need to try yourself. Depends on what you kind of have for a computer, what kind of hardware you have and so on. Uh, start with max quality. Start recording. If you noticed, that your FPS going down, you're just laggy and stuff like that. Try to do quality, the same there. 
right to performance. Those three. Let's start with max quality and see what's happening. Play some games and watch like your recording if it's holding up. So if you have, sorry, if you have a potato computer, you need to tweak a bit. But I recommend max quality if you can use it. But if you can't, bump it down. And if you cannot do that, bump it down one more. Profile recommend you guys going high. If you have a lower computer, maybe main. But I still recommend high. Look ahead is unchecked. Physical ver uh, visual tuning is checked. GPU is zero. Well, that is if you have two GPUs, you can decide which one you want to encode with or record with. So if you have that, cool. Uh, uh, max B frame is two. One more thing, because I kind of forgot this, so sorry. Uh, the other uh, setting I want to show you is what rate control CQP. And what that does is it's a bigger format um the bigger file and the cqb level i'm really going all the way here i've researched this and people say don't go under 14 because it's the fires are going to be high so have you low like don't have so much space in your computer try to do cbr if you have space and not maybe deleting your videos after it, you're done with them uh, go CQP. Uh, if they are too big, the files go with 15, maybe even 16, or bump it up a bit more. But don't, I say this, don't go under 14 because it's not going to be better. So I can really recommend CQP. They're really crisp, really good, and recommend it. So try it, try both, see what you think and hopefully you're going to be satisfied and then we go to video when you're at the video uh, the base canvas resolution it's your monitor's resolution and so if you have a 4k monitor take that uh, if you have a 1080 like i am i'm using that so it's kind of what you have for monitor the output scale resolution that is you guys see now 1664x uh, three, uh, 936 uh, so it's 936p and i feel like why well, i'm kind of using that when i'm streaming but what you want to do here depends also on your computer a bit so have you kind of okay, like standard computer and a higher computer do 1080 why not if you have a lower computer like i'm using this phrase potato but it's like feeling really bad saying it but in lower spec cpu like slow spec computer sorry then you maybe need to go down 936 900 maybe even 720p so try an error you need to really experiment a bit to actually find your settings for your computer because not everyone has the best computer and that's totally fine and i've seen a lot of people have a lower spec pc and they look fine so just tweak a bit and you will find it down scale filter and do Lanxos because it's the best one and then common fps valves i use 60. i can say like this if you have a really really low spec pc you maybe i just take it out there you maybe need to go down 30 maybe but that's the last i should tweak on actually it's that it's that it's the last one so you guys know the advanced tab um here are difference actually some people have some different stuff here um but the uh, process, uh, the process priority it is set to normal and start i think uh, i should recommend you guys go above normal or even high and uh, what that does it's that your obs is prioritized higher 
than all the stuff on in your computer or like in the game maybe and that's why i also start obs as an admin because i get that prioritization over the game instead uh, that the game is going to take all the resources you have for the game and not for your stream i want that opposite i want the good resolution for your stream and the rest the game can take because it's all usually low anyway so that's why i'm using it so above normal i should recommend there you have it guys hope you guys like the guide and you guys gonna have a really good recording and of course if you really like the video thumbs up on it and more like you gonna see it hopefully do you really like it give me a comment down below have any questions a comment down below and of course i stream on twitch so check me out there and see you another time Malak out. Take care. Bye-bye.